When I passed by your autograph lesson, mm -hmm. I noticed that you get a very, very close relation to almost <laughs> every one of your fans. You keep talking well, you know several minutes and I hugging. I recognize so many of them from like having come to many, many shows before. And I know that a lot of them came just for this. Mm -hmm. And that's just very touching and flattering that they did that and they care that much. And it's like you, you can tell when you see them, like, what is a real fan? What is somebody that really is trying to understand you and appreciates what you do? And I think that I still get really overwhelmed when I actually am with the, the fans. Is like, it's still overwhelming to me that, one, that they know who I am because I don't assume anyone does and that they care and that they actually have listened to a song or something. It's just, it's very far removed from me because I don't mm. think about it until they're in front of me. And then I, I myself like get very sincerely just shocked and overwhelmed and very excited about it. Cause I'm like, who are you? And why are you here? And why do you care? And why do you, I'm still in shock at the thing of like, that you're talking to me right now that anybody cares what I think about anything <laughs> is very strange and very kind of unnatural. It's not mm. something you would naturally assume. Mm. And yeah. And then I always psych myself out, like saying, nobody's going to come so that when they do, then I'm really, really happy. <laughs> so that's what I was saying this morning is like, these people don't care who I am. Nobody's going to show up. Aww. And then there they are. <laughs> but it's, it's like a fun, because then it's a beautiful present when yeah. they do show up and then yay. And so, even bring along presents as I saw. <laughs> yeah, they do that. Like we have an amazing fan base, like unlike any that I've ever seen mm. for, maybe they're out there for other artists, but I have not seen this where... In the States, here, everywhere all over the world that we have been, in Mexico, which we just did, um, just the massive amount of things, of presents that they give us, but mostly things that they have made, mm -hmm. which for us is like, that's the only kind that we mm -hmm. really, really, really want, is like, you drew a picture, you, I mean, they've knitted me scarves and made just amazing things. They bake for us, like boys and girls and everything. They go into the kitchen for the first time <laughs> and make vegan cupcakes because they know that we will like that. And so sometimes for like on the bus, we live off of the muffins that we get on stage. <laughs> They've searched every detail of the music, of the pictures, of everything to find out what this person or what my world or anything is really, really about. And in some small way, I mean, they'll make me like a tiny little leech out of clay that they sculpted. And it's like, you saw that, mm -hmm. you're getting this. Mm -hmm. It's out there and you searched and you found it. And you know that this means everything to me. So I've just, I mean, it's still very overwhelming and shocking that just how can any one person deserve that sort of um, generosity and ad adoration from anyone else? Mm -hmm. It's weird, but I'll take it. So <laughs> it's not so bad. No, of course Yeah. Not. But it makes me really want to like give back to them even more because I realize this is this two way thing and that mm -hmm. they only do it because they know that not just me, but my girls on stage as well, really, really care about them. Thank you for your time. Absolutely, thank you. It was really nice to talk to you. Cheers. And if you like, you can post some words to your fans to our audition. Oh, thank you. <laughs> okay, so this is free freestyle time. Yeah. I'd like for my playgrounds out there to know that um, get back in the kitchen for us because you don't have to be mad to enjoy a mad tea party. And um, I'm going to tell you, well, I don't know if you saw this in the reading, but I'm on a mission mm -hmm. and I've given the Asylum Army, which is a really hardcore plague rats, mm -hmm. a mission. And that is to go on Wikipedia and take all the misinformation that is up there and change it to even worse information. So make everything absolutely wrong. See how wrong you can get the Wikipedia page. So that when I'm asked in interviews about mm -hmm. it, then I get asked like the most insane questions ever. So <laughs> I challenge you to really fuck up that page, um, fill it with lies, and I will be so proud. Because that's the only way to fight wrong information is put out your own wrong information. Correct. Because trying to correct it is absolutely a waste of time. It's never going to happen. <laughs> so wish me luck on that yeah. endeavor. Keep fighting for the asylum army. And as long as the asylum still stands... You will always have a home. And um, yeah, spread the plague. Knew it. <laughs>